Thanks, Sally. The race for attorney general took a very surprising turn today. The 8 News Now polit uh, political team learns that Aaron Ford, the Democratic nominee, was arrested repeatedly in Texas in the early 1990s when he was a student at Texas A&M University. Now, Ford was arrested on charges including public intoxication, failing to appear in court to pay a speeding ticket, and for theft after he didn't pay for a new tire that was installed on his car. Politics Now co-host Steve Sebelius sat down with Ford in an exclusive television television interview today and Steve that interview got pretty emotional. Yeah, it, it definitely did. Ford was moved to tears today when he was talking about the mistakes he said he made during his college days at Texas A&M. Now he didn't shy away from his arrest for public intoxication on the college campus for failing to appear in court to take care of a speeding ticket and skipping a court date on a charge of theft over a new tire that he never paid for. But Ford said those things don't represent the man who went on to earn a law degree, a PhD in education and now leads the Nevada State Senate. What defines who you are is what you do in the long term. But over the last 25 years, my wife and I have been able to um, raise three fantastic young men, and we've raised our nephew. Uh, and that's what I hope the voters can, can understand. Ford said the turning point for him came in 1993 when he became a father to a young son. Ford was investigated for trespassing at the apartment of the boy's mother who'd called police after an argument. Just a couple of months later, Ford became a single father and says he focused on raising his family. He says he hasn't talked much about his run-ins with the law, but is doing so now because he knows it will become a campaign issue. Ford says he hopes the voters can put his past into context. Uh, and in fact, what we're talking about now, um, you know, are, are very limited, uh, uh, happened over a very limited time in my life. Um, you know, you know we'll, we'll talk about a few other things, but, but I'll say it this way. Uh, the first 21 years of my life, uh, I spent my focus on trying not to go back to neighborhoods in which I had grown up. Hmm. Uh, the last 25 years of my life, uh, I've spent uh, trying to raise three sons and a nephew, uh, being the best father that I can be for them. Uh, being the best role model that I can be for them, being the best husband that I could be for my wife, and uh, just trying to show them um, what a real man is supposed to be about and what civic duty looks like. The revelations about Ford's college past came in the same week when he also faced revelations that he owed more than $185,000 to the Internal Revenue Service for unpaid taxes from 2010 to 2014. The tax agency filed two liens against him. Ford says his family was hit hard by the recession and says he's paid his back taxes in full and the IRS liens were released in 2016. Now Ford will face off with Republican Wes Duncan in the November general election. You can see our full interview with Ford and his wife Berna on our website. That's lasvegasnow.com. Thank you, Steve.